Yeah, what, what is happening here? Well, basically there's several things happening as people are sick and tired of how staff and uh, teachers have been treated here at the Spooner School. Sick and tired of how monies are being used. And in this situation, I think kids are pretty uh, just devastated that they lost their coach and he was escorted out of the school. Now they would say that he didn't lose his job because they put him on administrative leave, but when they take his badge and his credentials and his keys and escort him in front of all of his peers and his students, I would say that's a pretty humiliating thing for something that he stood up for. Right. Yeah. I'm not on one side or the other. No more. Abby. It's time that we stand up as students. Seeing you guys here and doing this means a lot. It's been a really, really, really tough year. Yesterday, my dad was personally escorted from the building by the superintendent and the principal and asked not to return to Spooner at all. He had to hand in his, his badge and his keys yesterday. So we went home as a family and getting the support from other people, having my cousin start this and seeing all of you guys come out to support means so much. To see that we're finally coming together, not just for my dad, but for the other teachers. We are losing so many people next year. Spooner's not going to be the same. Not just class sizes, not just cutting of stuff for budget or whatever they want to call it, but the treatment of people in Spooner needs to change and needs to stop. We need to care about people. We need to treat people well. We need to support our teachers who have been there for us this year because they're fleeing our school and they're leaving. They're selling their homes. They're completely moving to different towns and they don't want to because they love it here and they love us. The only reason that a lot of them have stayed this year has been for us and it's our time to stand up and support them. Enough is enough! Woo!